six, nine, Hello there YouTube, today we have the part 2 of 2 for the Voron 2.4 transformation. As you may remember, we made the first part of this video where we talked about taking a vanilla Voron 2.4 R2 and transforming it into a beast. Since that is an arguable matter, some of you might disagree with me, which is totally fine, but we managed to print out a sub 10 minute benchy with this setup and it came out in perfect quality. Aim 6 Mac coming at you from Belgium. Bring you the best content about 3D printing. Level your bed, change your nozzle. Tighten your belts, input shape. Turn on your cameras, what you're about to see is master at work. This is not a drill. I repeat, this is not a drill. I want you to become one with your 3D printer. Get your neurons to work. I want you to make it happen. You can do it. I want you to print that first perfect layer. If it didn't work the first time around, try it again. Put some grease on your linear rails. Tighten those loose bolts. Make them all tight. Everything needs to be nice and neat. You can do it. Just make it happen. I want you to print that first sub 10 minutes perfect Benchy. If I can do it, you can do it. You owe this to yourself, you owe it to the universe. Make it happen. I want you to design your first model and upload it onto Maker World and get the thousand downloads. You can do it. Become the best version of yourself. Create the best Voron printer ever. Make it bed level like never before. Make your printer fast as fast it can be. This video is sponsored by PCBWay.com, the world's go-to supplier for premium custom circuit boards. Tell us what you need, then let us design and manufacture your PCBs to the highest level. Low print runs and 24-hour turnarounds with assembly starting from just $5. Get an instant quote and join our online community at PCBWay.com. Well, I think we achieved our goal. So as you can see, we used a beefy tool head this time, which uses a double 5015 fan setup. The name of this tool head is Mantis. There are several revisions of this tool head, which go by the name XOL1 and XOL2. But since those revisions use the double 4020 fans, which are not great for fast PLA printing, we went for the OG Mantis. The 5015 fans we used are 8500 RPM ones which can go up to 37 CFM per channel. That is an impressive amount of airflow. To test the capability of the parts cooling fan, we printed out an overhangs test. These are the images of the overhangs test from each axis and the Mantis did a brilliant job printing the overhangs. In my opinion, this Voron is a beast for printing all sorts of material. Of course, the modding can never stop on a Voron. There are so many mods and upgrades you cannot imagine. Our goal was to make this printer print fast and be reliable. So far, it's doing both. If you guys have any suggestions on which mods that this printer can still have, write them in the comment section below. I can say that this printer is by far the most silent and the fastest printer I've ever owned. I know you own a printer, but can it print as fast as a Voron? Although guys, we need to stall the Voron build for a while now, because there is a new printer that we are very excited about. Yes guys, it's a VZBot. We're preparing on building a VZBot on the channel. 
and are willing to go to detail on how to build one. The EasyBot will be faster than the Voron 2.4, but can it also be as silent and reliable? I guess we'll have to wait and see. If you are interested in those videos, make sure you subscribe on the channel and without forgetting, after the build has finished, we have a surprise for you. Stay tuned to get more info on that later on your journey. Anyways guys, I hope you liked this video and are willing to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Stay safe. Bye for now. Bye.